Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do another spooky reaction video. This one is to Slap Times channel. The video is called The Creepiest Paranormal Videos Out There. I thought it's a good one. I thought there's plenty of good scares. Um, do appreciate you coming by. If you wouldn't mind popping by Slap Times channel and dropping them a sub, the link is in the description. I'd be very grateful for that. Show them some support. And if you wouldn't mind subbing to my channel, hitting the thumbs up on the video. Leave any feedback in the comments. I do appreciate it. And ring the bell for alerts for more videos going out there. Um, I'm hoping to get back on schedule and get more videos released as I used to. And I'm hoping to get back on the live stream soon as well. I did sort of go into a bit more about this on my previous video. So I'll, I'll just leave it there for now. Um, in the meantime, let's give this a watch. Let's hope it's a good spook you want. And we'll see how we get on, shall we? How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see some of the most mysterious video clips that are trending on socials right now. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more mysterious content. Just like this. Please do. As I said, the link is in the description. Our first eerie clip of the day comes from TikTok user Soy Julio Lopez. Concerned that neighbourhood kids were sneaking onto his apartment's roof to steal his child's tricycle, this homeowner decided to investigate after hearing laughter and strange noises coming from above. Because that's where you keep your kids' tricycles, on the roof. But what he caught on camera is far more unsettling than he ever anticipated. Take a look. Hey, yeah, son, go and play on your bike. Creepy. I'm surprised he can hear anything with all that bloody noise, to be fair. Well, that is quite creepy. I thought it was a string at first, but it seems to be his own. The footage clearly shows the tricycle slowly rolling across the rooftop. It comes straight for him there, but then it suddenly sort of veers yeah. off to the left. Whether it's hit a stone and caused the whale to go that way, I don't know. The homeowner, bewildered by what he had just witnessed, admitted he had no logical explanation for the footage. After the incident, he shared that strange occurrences aren't entirely uncommon in his home. He mentioned hearing weird noises and footsteps from time to time, but he had always chalked it up to ambient noise from a busy neighbourhood. However, after capturing this terrifying footage, he's no longer sure what to believe. Could this be a case of paranormal activity, or is there a more rational explanation waiting to be uncovered? Like I said at first, it did sort of come straight for him, but then it sort of veered off and went to the left, but it, I can't see any strings or anything. Vibrations from all the bloody motorbikes and stuff. I don't know. What do you guys think? In the summer of 2023, a woman named Merced, also known as La Chica Bona on social media, began experiencing a series of unsettling events in her home that would leave Didn't Ricky Martin sing a song about her? Leave her and her family deeply disturbed. <coughs> it all started on August 2nd, 2023, when Merced noticed objects in her home moving on their own and things turning on all by themselves. These eerie occurrences escalated quickly, making Merced increasingly uneasy. But it wasn't until she discovered something truly bizarre in her backyard that the situation took a terrifying turn. While outside barbecuing one evening, Merced's oldest son Martin pointed out something that chilled her to the bone. Upside down hand marks on a pole in the backyard as if someone or something had crawled down from the rooftop. Estas manos tan bonitas, en una posición rarísima, son unas manos que son más pequeñas que las mías y están puestas eh, boca abajo, como si hubiera bajado alguien. When Merced asked Martin about the marks, he calmly told her that they belong to the window man. Listen to their chilling conversation. ¿Quién es el hombre de la ventana? Un niño marrón. No, ya está muerto, es muy alto. 
Solo quiere jugar con nosotros. Hace top top que las ventanas pronto nos vimos. The mention of the window man left Merced horrified. Was this some figment of a child's imagination or was there something more sinister at play? The horror deepened when Merced discovered more hand marks, this time on her son's bed, leading towards the window. <gasps> As the unsettling events continue to unfold, Merced is left searching for answers, hoping to protect her family from whatever may be lurking in the shadows. What was that walk all about, please? <laughs> yeah, that was a bit strange, that one, to be fair. The where there wasn't really any activity, it was all just afters. There was things moved, but you didn't see it move. It was just her going, look, it's moved. Or, what's this doing here? And the handprints. Albeit a bit creepy, but... I don't know. It could be just in it for the, the clicks, as you see. But, um... What do you guys mute of that? This next bizarre clip has taken Mexico by storm, rapidly going viral and leaving viewers spooked. Uploaded to TikTok by user Grabaciones Leonardo, the video has amassed over 26 million views, with many questioning what they've just witnessed. The clip follows a group of paranormal researchers as they explore an old cemetery known for its eerie atmosphere. While navigating through the graves, they come across an old, worn-out suitcase lying ominously on the ground. But what happens next is truly unsettling. It's a Japanese guy off Britain's Got Talent, isn't it? What's with the screen? She seems relatively calm, considering what's going on, like with the screaming and the sort of movement and that. It's I don't know. A woman among them sprinkles salt over the suitcase while reciting a prayer. After some hesitation, the group decides to open the suitcase, bracing themselves for whatever might be inside. I don't know if it was just for time, but there seemed to be a few cuts there, mind. <laughs> to their shock, the only thing they find is an old doll. Creepy doll for the win. The video has left viewers around the world baffled and frightened, with many speculating about the true nature of the events captured on camera. Was the suitcase truly possessed by something otherworldly, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Whatever the case, this creepy clip has certainly captured the imagination of millions, further fueling speculation about the paranormal. Yeah, there seem to be quite a few cuts in amongst that. And she just seemed far too calm for what was actually going on there. I could be completely wrong, but what do you guys make of that? Like I said, the cuts might have just been to save time in the edits. Or from Slapdam's perspective or whatever, but it just seemed to be flapping, cut, nothing, dull. I don't know. What do you guys think? 
justicia y de Dios Espíritu Santo, a ti encomendamos y a ti pedimos en esta noche. Y dice, se loca más, se loca más con el azúcar, con el azúcar, con la sal, perdón. A chilling video has surfaced on TikTok from user Ari, who shares an unsettling story involving her daughter and a pair of supposed spirits. Ari's daughter recently said she was scared about pulling out a loose tooth, citing a fear of the evil tooth fairy. Ari, however, believes this fear stems from something much darker that her family experienced back in 2020. According to Ari, her family has been haunted by two spirits, one male and one female, for some time. In the first clip, a motion-activated camera captures Ari's daughter waking up in terror, claiming that something touched her hand. When the footage is slowed down and zoomed in, a chilling detail becomes apparent. A face, seemingly that of a woman, can be seen just above a dark object in the room. What am I looking at here? What the fuck? I can't say shit there, mind. Let us know if I'm wrong, but I can't see a bloody thing. Are they talking about? Nah. I mean, you can. <laughs> Talk about pareidolia or whatever. You can sort of see an eye, your nose, and the mouth, but no, that's just did you glitch that? That's how the hell did the spot that? But on top of that, the kid sort of reacts after the dad. The dad comes in. And it's weird. He sort of says, "Oh, well, tomorrow," and then she starts screaming instead of her screaming and him running in to see what the hell's the matter. I don't know. It's a bit sus getting your kids involved if you are setting these things up. But I don't get that one, like. Many viewers believe this to be the female spirit that Ari says has been haunting their home. There's a woman's face right here. That's the only face I've seen, but other people feel like they see other faces. It was this lady right here. Like, the eye, the nose, the lips. But this lady right here let me show you the picture of the lady that died in my house that's the lady like for me the woman's face right here i feel like this was her the story doesn't end there however in a second clip ari believes she's captured the voice of the male spirit that's been lurking in their home So is Ari's family truly being tormented by these two spirits? The eerie footage and the daughter's fear certainly suggests that something otherworldly might be at play in this household, leaving viewers to speculate on the terrifying possibility that these spirits are indeed real. So yeah, again. He sort of comes in and says, what, what's the matter? And then she starts screaming. But um, the voice, again, primed with the wording on the bottom of the screen. It, there was something there. I'm not denying there was something there. Whether that's what it said or not, I haven't got a clue. But... um. Yeah. Still a bit, like I said, it, it's creepy. If you're setting it up and you're getting your kids involved, and that's even creepier than actual bloody paranormal for me. Like, but what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. I, uh, I, just, I just want to sleep with you now. He's just so calm about stuff as well. It's like, what? 
Worshippers in Ohio have been left astonished by what they believe to be a miraculous event involving the International Pilgrim Virgin statue of Our Lady of Fatima. This statue, which has been revered for over 75 years and has travelled to more than 100 countries, allegedly blinked while on display at the Basilica of St. John the Baptist in Canton in August 2nd, 2024. I was going to, I'm sure I've seen this years and years. When I first started looking into the paranormal stuff, I got this, it was like one of them daft bi-weekly magazine things that you put in folders called The Unexplained over here in the UK. I don't know if you've had anything similar elsewhere. But I'm pretty sure I remember seeing this statue in there and there was one of Jesus where I was supposedly crying or bleeding or something. Well, I do recall seeing something about this side of crying or blinking or. But again, like, even then, like, we're going back 80s, 90s when I was a kid, the camera quality was shit. So the, the photos were awful. You'd think nowadays somebody would have, like, bloody 4K resolution pictures of something like this by now. <clears throat> I mean, that's not the best quality photos. Even a video, like, people do this sort of thing now, you know? It's like everybody's got a video camera in the pockets. Here they are side by side, one with eyes open, the other closed, while the statue was on display at the Basilica of St. John the Baptist in Canton Friday. The Again, I don't know if it's just because of the potato quality, but it looks like a different statue. To me, I don't know. Unless it's just a slightly different angle and it's not, it's looking more adults as opposed to the side. But like the eyebrows seem like it's frowning and the mouth's moved and the nose seems more pointy, but I don't know the Basilica of St. John the Baptist in Canton Friday. The incident occurred as the statue made its way across the region as part of a tour. Witnesses claim to have seen the statue's eyes close and then open, a moment that was captured in photographs. The photos quickly spread, causing a stir among the faithful who view this as a miraculous sign. The statue, considered by many to be the closest likeness of the apparition of the Virgin of Mary in Fatima, Portugal in 1917, has a long history of being associated with miraculous events. The Virgin Mary apparition in 1917 was reportedly witnessed by three children in Fatima, Portugal, who claimed to have seen the Lady of Rosary six times. The most famous of these events, the Miracle of the Sun, saw tens of thousands of people gather to witness what was described as the sun dancing and moving erratically in the sky. This event was later deemed worthy of belief by the Catholic Church, leading to the creation of the statue. Over the years, many who have visited the statue have reportedly experienced medical miracles, including instances of healing from serious ailments. The recent event in Ohio has only added to the statue's reputation, with some believers interpreting the blinking as a sign or warning consistent with other miraculous occurrences linked to the statue. The statue will continue its tour across Ohio before moving on to Wisconsin and Minnesota. As it continues its journey, the faithful will undoubtedly be watching closely for further signs of the divine. Yeah, so, again, like I said at the beginning, this is one of the first images I sort of remember when I started looking at the paranormal with the Bigfoot pictures and the ghost of the girl in the back of the car and things like that. Um, it is intriguing, but you'd think there'd be better quality images by now. I mean, I could be wrong, but you'd think there would be better pictures by now. A recent TikTok clip from user Dopenshaw7 has taken the internet by storm, sparking a flurry of eerie speculation. The photos, captured in Greater Manchester's Heaton Park, shows a truly unsettling encounter that's left viewers baffled. The user recounts a chilling experience that took place on a boat trip with their younger cousin and mother. While floating in the middle of the lake, they noticed a figure on the opposite shore. That's pretty creepy. At first glance, the figure appeared to be a person. But as the minutes ticked by, something seemed off. 
The figure remained completely still for over 40 minutes, showing no signs of life. Curiosity and concern led the trio to approach the figure in their boat. Despite shouting out to check if the person was okay, they received no response. As they drew closer, they were struck by the figure's bizarre appearance, large feet, and a face devoid of any features. The situation grew even more unsettling when, after 40 minutes of eerie stillness, the figure suddenly waved an arm. In an inexplicable twist, as the figure moved its arm, the trees behind it swayed in unison, as if controlled by the same unseen force. The moment was so disturbing that the user described nearly being sick. After the wave, the figure vanished into the trees, leaving the witnesses shaken and bewildered. Adding to the mystery, the user later discovered that Heaton Hall, located within the park, was once a hospital during World War I. Over the years, there have been reports of ghostly figures of nurses being spotted in the area, leading to speculation that what they saw might have been a spectral presence from the past. The video has quickly gone viral with viewers debating the nature British of the encounter. Some believe it could be a supernatural oh, well, phenomenon linked to the park's history, while others suggest it might just be an elaborate hoax or a trick of the light. Whatever the explanation, this eerie encounter at Heaton Park has certainly left a lasting impression on those who witnessed it. Not a trick of the light. Whether it was someone stood there i mean 40 minutes what were these guys doing were they just on the boat or without why didn't they video it instead of just taking photos to show that it was static that's a bit mad it looks like one of the cutouts of the pulp album different class <laughs> what do you guys make of it let us know Coming up in our last segment in just a few seconds we take a look at some bizarre footage captured at a uk airport but before we do, remember to hit that subscribe button, tickle that little bell icon there, and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious episodes. Please do. Here's some quick and strange footage that was captured in an airport in the UK. One eyewitness noticed something strange hovering around a plane that was taking off. They took out their phone, and this is what they saw. I've seen a few videos like this recently. It's actually quite scary. I mean, you wouldn't think it'd be drones or anything, but like, drones probably wouldn't be able to keep up with that to that extent. I don't know. But they'd, they'd sink the circle like around the planes and stuff. They are pretty creepy. Two unidentified orbs can be seen flying close to the aircraft. Yeah, see how they seem to keep pace? It's weird. According to some reports, this footage was submitted to the aviation authorities for investigation but received no official reply. So, so are they looking into something? Or? What do you think's being caught on camera here? Love to hear your thoughts on this strange footage in the comments down below. They are weird, them, man. Like, what the hell? Truly. It could be dangerous, so it's nothing. They don't even seem to be like digitally. They're not perfectly round, I don't know. It's... I'm lost for words with this one, guys. What do you think these are? To me, they don't look like drones or and like i said they're too close to the planes it'd be dangerous to be sort of man-made and sent up alongside surely i don't know but they don't seem to be like added in effects either uh, maybe i'm wrong let us know what you guys think um again i do appreciate you coming by do appreciate the support if you wouldn't mind as i said dropping by slap times channel drop my sub and sub to my channel hit the thumbs up ring the bell and leave your thoughts in the comments. I will be going live at some point. So if you want to have a proper catch up and a discussion about any of the videos. Please come by. Just ring the bell and watch for the live notifications. 
and i'll be getting more videos out more regularly and i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching guys appreciate it